Walking through the interventional sequence, McMade, monitors on, first intervention, make sure it's the 200 maximal joules dialed in, two ch immediate chest compressions, at least two inches of depth. Number three, metronome, to make sure our cadence is correct at 100 beats per minute. Fourth is airway and non-rebreather mask. Uh, then IV access, immediate interosseous with one amp of epinephrine, followed by a flush, followed by drawing up 40 units of vasopressin to follow. Code commander is overseeing all the interventions, checking chest compressions, making sure the airway is patent. 85. Go ahead and charge up, go ahead and charge up. 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Off, look. Right. Charge, shock and clear, I'm clear, you're clear, shock. Delivered, shock delivered. And immediate, start a restart. Okay, second cycle. Starting from again, the top, code commander checking chest compressions, checking airway. Articulate the second round of drugs. 300 milligrams of amiodarone. Just as was done, there's absolutely no delay between shock and restarting CPR. We are not checking for a pulse. We're not checking the post-rhythm analysis. Immediate compressions, looking for signs of life or a perfusing rhythm in the pre-shock phase on every two-minute cycle. Excellent chest compressions, a quick punch at least two inches of, of depth, creating an airspace underneath the palm of the hand each and every time to avoid leaning on the chest. Know that as you get tired, you're gonna start going faster, and as you get tired, you're gonna start leaning on the chest. Know that those are the two most common errors. Okay, hey, Code Commander, what do you think? How are we, how are we doing this for? Everything looks good. Okay. So what's the next transition? For our next transition, then we're going to do the same thing, look for another paramedic, and then we're going to go okay. for airway. Okay. We're going to go to wait to the third cycle for airway now. We're delayed at one cycle, so we're going to full six minutes. So continue with the non breather and airway. It is acceptable to, to swap out chest compressions every hundred compressions. If you think you're tired, if you've got lots of extra hands. Next compressor. Okay. Okay, we're in our third cycle. After the third, cy third cycle is complete, after this next defibrillation, immediate airway. The concept of rapid sequence airway, one rapid look, no interruptions in chest compressions. If you have a target, intubate them. If you don't have a target, place a combi tube. It is acceptable to briefly hold chest compressions to make sure your placement is right, particularly if you intubate them. We've got to be sure we're in the right place. And then what's our ventilation sequence? One every six. Eight. Every 10 seconds, once every 10 seconds, six per minute, and a quick breath, just a quick little puff. In that code commanding role, again, continue to survey all of your primary tasks. Are the compressions good? Is the ventilation, the airway patent? Are we on the right set of drugs? What's the next set of drugs? What's the next set of airway interventions? Think ahead one cycle. Yeah, and then at this second, they'll intubate at the next one. Charging shock, I'm clear, you're clear, but he's clear. Don't shock. Next operator on the chest. 
Okay, oral airway coming out. George is going to take one quick look. It's mandatory to have some assistance in stabilizing the neck while chest compressions are ongoing to give you the best opportunity of success during your intubation so you don't have a moving target. So we're going to confirm airway placement. George is putting on capnography. Good. Going to confirm. Breath sounds in the upper airway. Breath sounds upper airway are good. Sounds lower present. No, not present in the lower. Nothing in the stomach. Okay. And then George, George is going to go for now six breaths per minute. So one every 10 seconds. Yeah, one every 10 seconds. One. So it's a breath now. Breath now. Breath now. So it's really slow ventilation rate. Once every 10 seconds. You probably have to watch your watch your count. Just just as we know that chest compressions will shallow and will start to, to speed up, we also know that as soon as you put an airway in, you'll tend to ventilate too fast. Charge up. Okay, next operator, and we're good. When performing compressions, keep in mind that we want to minimize our hands off the chest time. So transitions between person one doing compressions to person two doing compressions should be as seamless as possible.